This is Keith Champagne, a writer, artist, inker, letterer, editor of too many comic books to count. I've wasted my entire adult life in this industry, and you are on Splash Pages. Excelsior! Hey everybody, I'm Drew with Splash Pages. I'm here with uh, one of my personal favorites. We have, yeah, I know, big, big, big deal, Keith. You have Keith Champagne. Uh, he is a he's a writer. He's an inker. He's an artist. He does a lot. So first thing, how are you doing, sir? It's nice to see you again. Oh, thank you very much. First of all, for that nice intro. I'm doing okay. It's kind of tiring. I'm on. We're on day three at Trificon. And uh, I think we're all hitting the wall and getting a little punchy at this point. But in yeah. general, I got nothing to complain about. Yeah. Yeah. No, totally. And uh, I understand because I was like the hoodie. I was like, man, that guy is chilling. Like he is, he is chilling, you know? Yeah. So um, first thing I, I definitely have to ask is when I first met you, I had a nice chunk of your Green Lantern, uh, Jeff Johns' Green Lantern. I know because you signed all of it at a store signing for free comic day. So I was that guy. Did I sign my name or just? Oh, no, no. You just did the little glass with the bubbles. I think you did that about 60 times. At the end, you're like, wow. It's like, ah, it's been a minute since I did that. Yeah. Yeah. No. So what was that like working with Joff and, and Doug Mankey and all those creators? Because, you know, you know, I, I don't want to say we're going to bring up like the chasing Amy, like you're an inker, you're a tracer kind of thing. But it's a tough job, you know? <laughs> Like, in terms of the creative process, so you're inking that, and you're inking a long-term project, so what's that like? Well, I mean, first of all, sometimes inking is just tracing. There's nothing wrong with that, and a lot of times it's more. But working on Green Lantern especially, uh, anytime you work on a Jeff book, you kind of got to bring your A-game. Right. Anytime you work with Doug Monkey, you got to bring your A-game. Of course. Um, I love Doug. He's a great guy, great artist. So anytime I get to work with him, it's really doesn't feel like work. Mm -hmm. And uh, okay. so when I can work with a guy like Doug, who is a legit, fantastic human being, it makes every day a joy. Right. But yeah, I got nothing bad to say about that time in my career. Like okay. Green Lantern's one of my favorite characters. Right. Working on an epic run like that with such a great artist is, you know, I'm blessed. Right. So, and speaking of your career, I mean, uh, you did, you for DC, you've done Aztec, you did JSA, you've done Green Lantern, for Dark Horse, you did uh, Dead Vengeance, you did uh, Stra yeah, yeah, Stranger Things, you know, and then even, and then, you know, IDW, you did Ghostbusters, and then you've even worked on projects like Switch with Tom, uh, you know, so, what's that, like, you, you, you're, you're, you've been everywhere, so, I mean, like, how is that, like, you think about, wow, look at all I've done. Like, like, how do you comment on that? Because, again, comics, it's a tough gig, you know? You got to keep working and yeah. uh, whatnot. So I have been uh, very lucky to keep busy for so many years now. Um, I often tell people, like, working in this industry is a lot like being a shark. You got to keep swimming or you're going to drown. Yep. And so I keep swimming. And I'm lucky enough that... I've been able to, you know, write books, uh, pencil books, ink mm -hmm. books, mm -hmm. uh, letter books, edit books. A lot of books. A lot, of, a lot books. of books. A lot of books. So many books. And, uh, the, you know, the key to that and something that was stressed to me when I went to the Cuba school back in the day. Right. Was the more that you can do, the more ways you can get paid in a very hard industry. Okay. You know, and so uh, I seem to have a basic level of, of uh competence right. at, at several different of the stations of production right and i milk it for all it's worth so basically instead of being one type of book you're a choose your own adventure i'm a choose my own adventure guy yeah that's good all right so now you know i already talked to tom about this so i gotta ask you so the other side now we've talked about this last time and unfortunately i have to talk about it again because technology has right you know pratfalls so that was one of the first comics i ever bought as a ghostbusters fan I know I loved it. I thought it was absolutely great. I mean, you had the the Ghostbusters against the the the, the classic mobsters. You had the God Squad coming in for an assist. The the whole thing. So, I know that the book didn't get the kind of reaction that you, as a fan, and kind of anticipated. But upon doing research, you said that there were other things you wanted to do, other stories definitely. that you were definitely you know like, let's go. So do you want to talk, can, can you talk about them or are those better kept 
in the containment unit of your past. <laughs> so I just, you know, like again, I don't want to bring up that sensitive. Hey. Do you want to talk about that stuff, or we, or is that? I think we're going to keep the other ideas in the in the vault for that one. Okay, no, okay, uh, that's fine, that's fine, that's, that's fine. I can try again another year. The other side, to me, uh, on a conceptual level, you know, going up against the dead mobsters, I thought is I still think it's a good idea. Mm -hmm. um, it's probably the gig in, that I've done in my life that I most wish I could do over. Okay. It was. I don't think it's my best work. I don't think I gave it the attention or the time or the care that it should have had. Mm -hmm. I, I approached it as just something to, to keep busy with in between other stuff I was writing for DC at the time, right. and I didn't give it you know the love it should have had. So anyone that was disappointed in the book, they can blame me. Okay. Uh, and someday I, I don't. Someday I'll do the Ghostbusters again. I'll do them right. Well, first thing I, I didn't think there was anything wrong in this first attempt, and and I like to argue. I was like, it's kind of like when Star Wars fans complain about. The thing, I was like, listen, some of you have not watched the Holiday Special or the Ewoks, and it shows. You know, so uh, there are there are probably worse books out there. So honestly, I want to say, as someone who had no problem, who loved the book, who was excited for you and. And Tom and even Nick Runge, who did the covers yeah, for it. Cover. Yeah, you did a great job. And anybody who says otherwise, come find me at Splash Pages. You know, we're at Trivicon, we're doing great. We got our buddy Keith Champagne here. He could, you can see him again. Who knows? We don't, we don't hate. We love comics, okay? We hate online. That's what you do.